Okay, so now we're going to take some of those same colors and techniques down into the nose and the chin area, down into what's called the muzzle. Um, and I'm going to start by kind of laying in the pink of the nose. It's not really a true pink. Um, it's, I don't know, almost kind of a tangerine color maybe. Um, so I'm going to add a little bit of a, a peachy orange kind of shade to it and blend those colors together. Um, and that's a little bit closer. And then I'm going to start building the fur that comes down um, on the top of the nose. It generally catches more light there, so it's a little lighter in color. And that lighter purple um, is some, I'm going to just add some little expressive touches up here in the face as I go. Because um, I'm going to use that lighter purple down below a little bit, so I want to tie the two areas together. And again, a layering of those colors, the, the amber, the cream color, and there's a little of that purple in there. And that's the lighter purple. And then working with the white. A little of that dark blue again that we used up there before. Now, keeping the muzzle itself light. Um, it's got a little bit of an orange tint to it in places, but it's very light, so I just put white in there. Um, and then I am using a little of that light purple and that kind of mahogany red, or, or not quite a mauve red, but a, a darker red-brown. And then just a light blending. Don't overblend, by the way. You can mat everything together on accident if you start blending too much, too heavy. And again, adding that pink to the uh, amber color. kind of tones the, the warmth, the vividness of that amber down just a little bit. Blending the muzzle out a little. And then again, going back in with that a little bit lighter, brighter purple and adding some touches there, some expressive color. I want to keep the chin pretty white, so I'm putting a very heavy layer of white down in here. And he's furry, so I don't want to have a just plain, even edge at the bottom. And then I'm using that lighter purple to bring that down again, create some harmony between the upper and the lower part of the face. And here is that black. It's always the last thing I add into an area because it'll muddy the other colors if you're not very careful. And then I'm using the black pencil to sort of blend it in and define out my shapes just a little bit better. The pencils I rarely use in the heart of a drawing, but I use them often for detailing. Areas that it's very hard to get crisp, sharp, or tiny details in with the uh, chalks.
the white is nice. You can go back in and clean up edges, thin things out where you need them. And some speckles in his nose. And then I'm just using the purple pencil there to add a little bit of texture in the chin. Yes. I'm using a couple of colors here for the uh, whisker marks. There's a little purple. I had a little blue, uh, brown there. And then go on the same kind of scenario on the other side. Add a little darkness on this right side here on the outside. A little shadowing. And then I'm putting just a little tiny bit of texture in with the uh, purple pencil. <laughs> 